and the map might get away from them very quickly. You you lose control of the river gateway, basically, that, and then that puts pressure on both of your side lanes uh, by virtue of a Fog of War roams. You know, we heard the analyst too, so quite nice here. Uh, even though Xin Zhao ultimate, you know, popped off early and doesn't doesn't cause his death there because Rumble's far outside of the range, the initial burst of damage did make him forced to run out to the top side. Here's the full retreat though, and Ligre swaps one more step forward to auto attack that barrel. Maybe if you turn around a little bit earlier, uh, would be able to escape the extra chase there, but Team Liquid very happy with uh, racking up that first blood bonus. Kyle Fox, now we get to, to the stages where it becomes more difficult for LeBlanc. Early stages, you want to try and make those big early moves with this champion. Now, you know, Jensen getting easier and easier for him to control this minion wave and try and push it in. Pal Fox hovers this one, though. Maybe he's trying to set up for, for some roams from bottom lane or something, because right now it's just Zen. Well, of note, in that last fight, Dreams wasn't six. He actually just hit it right now. It's called JJ flashing Ooh. in with the hook. Jensen going to follow up there with the slow only. Didn't have it empowered, so Palafox going to get away. Does proc the passive and a huge amount of damage on him, though? That is a very... It's going to come out later from this Team Wicked lineup. And, and being able to avoid any sort of these really big early pay plays from FlyQuest towards the top of the map. I mean, even getting first blood themselves and getting this gold lead. Yes, the Rift Herald was given over and there's guaranteed gold that's going to be procced by that activation of the Rift Herald at some point from FlyQuest. But, uh, you know, LeBlanc and Xin Zhao being kept to zero score lines here. Definitely what they want. And CoreJJ, fancy feet! Dreams actually onto Jensen. Jose Dodo also fighting in the bottom side. The chains end in mid. Now Jose's got to get away, but the Nautilus Ultimate's chasing him. They get two. The GP ult layers on as well. Equalizer down. Jose Dodo from a bar is getting burnt down. Santorin is able to find it. His core does get the rehook. Uh, for Team Liquid is, is very, very sustainable for the rest of this game. You see him. He's working well with Santorin right now, moving into the jungle. They get deep wards on both sides. They, they move their vision line over. There's the Rift Herald spawn. Won't quite finish off this turret. Maybe it will. Ooh, Barisol uh, to close. get in there. Kodo again finds Jose. Now re-engages with the hook, and there's the Q. Big damage out of the Varus, and Jose cannot live as tactical. He's going to grab it. Now Jenkins diving in on top of Gwen. And Brom, the Q is going to fly over the wall as Dreams was forced to flash. Liquor skips out to safety, but it's still Team Liquid all the way as Palafox will get this tower at least. All right, some money back in the bank here for FlyQuest. Maybe they can they can open up some, some more long lanes here to try and make some comebacks. It's going to be difficult. They only have the one teleport to work with from Licorice. And since Jenkins does have his own as well, and he's hit that level 11, has his Trinity Force, he's very capable. Is working on item number two, has the Rift Maker done already, but we all know the Nashes is where it really gets spooky for the enemy team. Or I guess the team that doesn't have Gwen. Little brush trap being set up though. Oh, hello. Onto Dreams we go. Nice ulti there, but uh, the knockup's following through and the damage is just too good. Santorin with the equalizer does indeed get the kill. TP's flying through for TL to make sure they can keep fighting if they need to. And Fly can't fight the 4v5. Bottom lane, too much there. Tactical and Core JJ combined to finish off Dreams. There's just too much CC. They keep him on the Rumble Ultimate the entire time. Burns him away, even with the Unbreakable up. Braum down, and it is a, a well-executed pick as far as the timing, too. Even with Teleport's channeling coming in, TL also channel and, and defend their own as far as any possible counterplay from FlyQuest. That's one of those openings as FlyQuest you're hoping to try and turn around. Hey, if they go on our Braum and use a bunch of, of ultimates, theoretically, we can get the counterplay here, but TL actually survive in using so much to take down a Braum. Flash chain, licorice here. Flash from Santorin. In we go for the Gwen. Equalizes on you. Stop watch, excuse me. Still good enough there for Santorin, but not enough to stop Licorice's ulti from killing you. But what a cue there out of Tactical. Finds the ulti as well. Almost locks up Palafox with the follow-up route, but is absolutely guaranteed. Licorice says that is the wrong one. But my goodness, if he died from Cleave, that would have been hilarious. Oh, he shot that clone good. Get that uh, grass pock. <laughs> HP for later. Team Liquid, they do buy enough time there with the stopwatch uh, for the counter kills. So even as FlyQuest are reaching Jose Diodo just lost like most of his health out of poke there. Nice Q aim from Tactical. And uh, Jenkins is really making it tough. Cold JJ hooks the clone, but now that passive is gone and TL can just start this freely. 
Yeah, they don't have to heavily damage it either. They just want to try and bait FlyQuest in so they get a hook. Oh, Code Day already in there. FlyQuest are looking for the fight. Tactical is already taken out. The mid laner and now Licorice and Santorin both going golden, but the follow up is there for Team Liquid. Core JJ almost finds Dreams again, but the flash is nice there from the Brahmas. Team Liquid a little low on health, but not low enough that they're going to back away anytime soon, especially with Qs like that landing Jensen out of high school. Jensen has teleport. He's channeling to recall. Does the Dragon Splash hit him? Oh, close. It did, but it didn't cancel. Core JJ also dancing away. Now it's GP ulti on top of Dreams as the Q is going to get blocked enough. Now Licorice. Deletes Jensen's health as he TPs in, but Jenkins still fighting with the barrels. Tactical again! He's got the Qs, he's on a rampage as he takes down Jose Diodo, and that's it. That's the Dragon Soul for Team Liquid. Yeah, they've got the extra advantage in the long fight there. Since Good luck, Jensen! Oh. <laughs> Since Battle Fox got chunked out so heavily before it in getting that LeBlanc kill, and Averis just waiting to lock people in place. And look, you know, Flagwest owned the speed train. I can see Jensen hitting the Baron, they know what's going on. It's just a matter of what can you actually do to stop it. As the Baron is getting low very swiftly, TP is going in, can't cancel anymore! Good, uh, good Stasis there for Licorice, so Dream's not going in hot, but Power Fox already melting down to Santorum, pops his own Zonis, and Jensen has taken down Power, and the AoE is just too much here. Jensen and Jenkins making Ooh. it happen, Ooh. tactical, sealing the kills with the arrows over the top as Johnson is going to flash into the ulti, still gets sniped by Tactical for the triple kill. And Jose Diodo can only watch his life fall away as the Infernal Soul Empowered Barris Qs keep on coming. Yeah, this game is a massacre pastry time. Team of Liquid are going to run him out of his own jungle even. Johnson just won't stop. Can, jo can he get uh, revenge here? It's like a little mini game. <sighs> All right, he doesn't get too close to the brush. No attempt there for our W from Zin. Doesn't get any sort of revenge, and it is going to maybe try and bail you out. But more than enough power here with the Baron buff here out of Team Liquid. There's Jenkins casually pushing in a wave. One more for Legendary. Will Tactical go Legendary this game? That's my that's my bet for you right now. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I say there. He needs one more kill? He has yeah, absolutely. percent chance he goes Legendary. Could die, though. In which case, <laughs> you lose it. That's true. Doesn't have to waste any time, though. It's so easy to just throw poke over and over at this FlyQuest team. Not only do they chunk Power Fox out and force him back to the fountain, but they also get Xin Zhao's ultimate. This, that's got to be a wrap. These turrets are going down, Pastry, and they're going down quick. I mean, poke everywhere, right? Nautilus Q poke, Barris poke, <laughs> Rumble E Not poke, GPQ poke, <laughs> poke Rise poke. Going to take two in Hipsy nice and easy. Trying to end the game. Again, Hook's flying wild out from Cold JJ, but hey, been pretty accurate so far. It's very easy to lock down someone and grab a kill, regardless of who you hit with how much damage or how much of an advantage they have. Jenkins isn't even like bothering to barrel people anymore, by the way. He's mostly just straight up parlaying people in the face because he knows that, you know, setting up barrel takes too long. Just cue them, it, they die quicker. GP ulti, zoning them off their own towers. It's just starting to feel rough here for FlyQuest. Licorice getting zoned, nice little W to immune the incoming hook, but now you're too far forward. The damage though, pretty good as he goes golden, and now the rest of FlyQuest reinforced, but again, TL has too much poke. Jose tries to dive in, is forced to flash out almost immediately, and now Jensen's gonna punish him. Flash root ever frost as Jenkins finds the final hit, and tactical, oh no, Kobe. Oh no, Kobe! He got one! The legendary! The legendary, the legendary <laughs> is gone. And TL actually have to leave? First. They're still going? Jenkins flashes out. Now rehook there for Core JJ. Exhaust down, but not enough there. Santorin's gonna fry Licorice. <laughs> and Core JJ is still cordoning them off. There's Who's gonna miss? Palfox and Johnson are in the, on the wrong side of the map. Yeah, even the Gaster Curse won't stop them. Team Liquid are gonna go to finish off the job. It did come at the cost of Tactical's legendary streak, but here they are on the Nexus. All right, here we go. Nexus under fire. Johnson fighting back. Team Liquid gonna be deflected, but maybe not for too much longer. Actually, FlyQuest, they're holding on the sad B indeed, but still, <laughs> they get the ace. We're not done yet. Oh, Johnson burning down there, sad B with the ignite still on him, watching his life bleed out in front of him. All right, back to live though. We've got an Elder Dragon on screen pastry. Back can, to live? Can, like the thing you talked about didn't happen five seconds ago. No, because that, everything inside that base was death. <laughs> <laughs> this is life though. Fly quest on the Elder Dragon. This is the comeback scenario. That's cool.
got a decent chance to steal this. Jose's got Smite. But Tactical's just getting in there. 1v3 with the Elder Dragon as his buddy. And uh, no one else is coming. This is the Tactical 1v3 only. If you steal this, there Here we go. Jose's going to get benched if this gets stolen. Here it comes. All right, there <laughs> we go. They got it. Tactical not able to grab it. Nice work from FlyQuest. Still have an open base. And the team's in there. Jensen moving in with the Realm Warp. Now it's a 2v2 <laughs> defense. The Elder Dragon is not enough. It is Team Liquid claiming the Nexus. Oh, what an ending there. They definitely made it fun as well. Elder.